for one minute. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Last week, President Trump used his authority and took clear, decisive action to protect American lives. By eradicating Iran's top terrorists, he sent a clear message to our enemies that the Obama days of appeasement are over and America will once again stand up to terrorists. We cannot allow another Benghazi. However, I'm in disbelief that some members of this body are finding ways to blame President Trump for the current situation in Iran. Fact one, Iran's regime has been an enemy of America since 1979. In recent months, they have shot down U.S. drones, attacked oil tankers, shot rockets at our bases, and attacked and tried to take over our embassy. Taking out Soleimani was a long overdue action to make the world a safer place and protect American lives. Fact two, President Trump does not want war. Yesterday, while addressing the nation, President Trump made clear there is a path forward for peace with Iran if they are willing to set aside their nuclear ambitions. This is personal with me. My son and his family currently serve in an embassy abroad in a war-torn land. I want to thank time President is expired. Trump and, uh, for protecting my family and the, our women and men in uniform abroad. Thank you very much. And I yield back.